procrastinating. I got this from a brother who we always chatting and uh, it's one of the things we always do. And he told me like, we need to fight this. We need to, for anything we wanna do, he's like, we should stop the act of procrastinating. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm no, this is not my language, so procrastinating. I just need to take time to master it and have it in my mind. I'm gonna talk about procrastination for just a few seconds, you know, putting something that might be major or better, you put it to the future and you find yourself doing something that's less important, we end up substituting it for laziness. But procrastination is, it's a habit. It's something we develop while we're young. It's no, it's no laziness. Laziness is something different because laziness comes with the unwillingness. Uh, this is something that you're willing to do, but at the end of the day, you're not going to do it. You find excuses. You always have to find an excuse for something, anything. So you find small things come up that you feel like you're more comfortable doing. That. An old man on his deathbed was once asked like, what's your biggest regrets in life? And to everyone's surprise, he said, the only things he regret is not part of what he did and failed. But he said, the only regrets he has mostly is what he failed to do. It's like, is what he failed to try because this life comes once, you only get one chance. So he said, the things he didn't do during the time he had to do them, the things that he should have done at the time he had good energy. Those things that he never tried doing and always thought that he would do later in his time and age are the things that he regrets not doing. So those were his basic regrets. So that means you end up regretting what you didn't do compared to what you did and failed. I remember when I was home as a kid and you sit there on your father's sofa, you're watching TV then you can watch someone playing football and you feel like, no, I can play better than this person. I would have done better than this person. The thing is, you're always procrastinating what you can do and you're playing by your mind, you're not making it physical. The reason you're watching that person on TV, he could be your age mate, he could be your friend, he could be someone you know, a cousin or relative. The reason you're watching them is because they have gone ahead to put what they plan into action. They have invested a lot in that. But for you, you're investing in your mind. So many people have lost their jobs. Uh, so many people have lost everything that becomes with talents. A lot of people have lost relationships with their spouses, with their families. There's always that time when you're like, I will call my dad next year. I'll call my friend tomorrow. All the time you're doing it tomorrow, then tomorrow comes tomorrow, another tomorrow comes tomorrow, this a year's going. Sometimes you might remember to speak to someone when this person is dead. There's a friend I tried reaching three years back and I was like, I called all my people I was with at the same school. And I was like, yo, how, do you know about Edgar? And one of the guys told me Edgar was dead. So maybe you wanna go on a date with someone, arrange the date. You wanna give someone a call, give them a call. It's a hard call. Maybe someone you spend a lot of time without talking to. You wanna meet a family, you wanna meet up with someone, you wanna make an arrangement, yeah. you wanna write a good email to someone, you wanna send out your CV. Don't wait until you lose a job to send a CV. These are things we always, it, it costs you nothing to do these kind of things because these are things you can really do, but it takes you a lot of energy to avoid them. Our leaders do the same. Uh, if you look at like an MP that comes into power, they have five years. So they spend these four years doing a lot of cheap, cheap things, enjoying the money, enjoying their life. They spend it on flights because things look easy the way they're doing with their assistance. Now, what they promised fails to come up in the fifth year. And this is when they request for more time. I once worked with a manager who always had a book. He always had a book and a pen. Every kind of thing he had to do for the next day or that day, he always wrote it on the book. First, he had to write the date. He used to write the time. This guy used to go so much hard that he could write the time. He's like, I want to do this at this time. So all the day, 
he used to go look through the book and give himself marks. He say, for the day, I have an 80 because I've done most of these things. So I'll push these two tomorrow and start with them tomorrow, finish up the next. And he always did that. So I copied him, but I always tried it on phone. So I go to my notes in the phone, I write what I need to do. The reason I did this video today was because of the fight of procrastinating. It's just like I was chatting with my friend and this idea came in my mind. I was like, no, just do something related to this and see how it goes. Because I felt like doing it, but my mind was telling me, no, that's something easy to do. Look for something else. And this is an option I get to send content out of there. So... I have done it and now that's done. It's not something I have in mind that I will do or I'm planning to do or I might do. This is something I have done. I have edited, I have produced and I've done it over there. So in the past in the past three hours, this is what I've done. I've done it, I've edited it and I've presented it and that's done. But remember, my mind was telling me it's something simple. You can do it. Just take your time, relax. You can do it tomorrow. The best thing we can do is avoid the little pleasures because we always leave the big things and go for the least, for the lesser pleasures, which is a lot like you spend your time on, on phone. Just you go watch all whatever you can watch on phone. You spend your time on TV. You can watch anything you see on TV. You spend your time staring at anything. If it's an activity, you want to get fit, work on it. Go get fit. You want to do some production, work on it. Go do the production. You want to meet some people, just go ahead and meet the people. Just go ahead and talk to the people. You want to do anything that's productive. You want to build something, just go ahead and do it. 